I want to talk about our September and how hot it's been. You know, Saturday we had a record high of 101. Sunday, yesterday, we had a record high of 102. Today was 10 degrees cooler, but still above normal. So there's that 92 today. Now look at these. We had four days. So today's the 25th day of the month. We've had four days that were cooler than normal. One day out of 25 that was normal. I mean, everything else has been above normal. Six record high temperatures this month, including the, the two that I just mentioned, and the third warmest September to date. The warmest to date was back in 2019, the second warmest back in 1939. So it's definitely been a hot, uh, hot September. And when you look at fall, meteorological fall, September, October, and November, and you look at triple digit days, just to, I mean, just kind of rub a little salt in the wound, I guess. We have a new record for triple digit days in 2020, in fall, in fall, in 2023, and it's eight. So the old record was seven back in the fall of 2019-51, and then we had two years in 2012 and 2011 when we had six triple-digit days during the fall. Now remember, I think it's October 3rd, is the October 3rd, 1951, if I'm not mistaken. That's the latest triple-digit day on record. I, I'm not even gonna say that's not touchable because the year that we've had, Anything's really touchable at this point. Clear skies out there right now. A couple little showers and thunderstorms fizzled out. So skies have cleared out. Look at this overnight tonight. Nothing more than a maybe a passing high cloud. That that is really it as we head through the night tonight and then low temperatures. The normal low 65 will be warmer than that. But this morning we were 72 to 74 degrees. Tomorrow morning, Dallas, uh, Fort Worth 69, Dallas 70, McKinney 71, 71 in Waxhatchee, 72 in Terrell, 69 in Mineral Wells. The same thing in Denton and in Decatur. Also in Gainesville, Bowie 67. And then uh, look at Seymour, 67 degrees for your low temperature out in the western sections of North Texas. My forecast tonight, light winds, a pretty nice night tonight. Pleasant, but certainly warmer than normal. 70 degrees, that's low, and another really warm day tomorrow. A light breeze, mostly sunny skies. The next 14 days, look at that. That's it. 90s for the next, right through October 2nd. What do we have October 3 right through October 9? Oh, look at the big cool down, Jonah. 87 degrees. Yeah, I, I had a person over the weekend complain about my 14-day forecast. Was it me? No, it wasn't. It was a. It was a. It was a. It was a. It was a yeah, it was Jesse, <laughs> meteorologist Jesse Huila. He wants me to go back to a three-day. I, I prefer. I prefer because it's more work. Yeah. But but anyway, so she, this woman said she goes. You know, it's like you're killing me with this 14-day forecast. I tweeted her back and I said why, and she goes because it was a struggle with you deflating our hopes with 10 days, but now you're deflating my hopes with 14 days. I just need some hope, Pete. And right now, I mean, I think the best way to look at this forecast is, I always use the state fair as a barometer. By the end of the state fair, we'll finally have some cooler weather. Now, you know how long the state fair lasts. Like Three weeks. four months, right? <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. It's actually gonna, there's no indication that we're gonna have a weather pattern change and have like high temps of 70. I just don't see that well, right I now. Well, I was thinking as I was walking in here how weather and sports are so similar because it can just ruin someone's day, right? <laughs> it's true. Like your 14 yeah. day forecast, the Cowboys yesterday. I know it. Making know people it. miserable across the <laughs> Metroplex. Let's go.